Hello, everybody. Today, I'm gonna go through the third、uh, critique review video. So,、uh, since yesterday, it's been growing to the 19th video in the planning already. So, thank you so much for all the support and participation. And today's video, I'm gonna focus on the third one with 12 people. Uh, 12 accounts in Instagram. So I have pre typed in the name in here already. So let's get started. The first one. So sometimes、uh, I'm very、uh, curious of posting video because video sometimes I I don't know how、uh, it's sometimes it's unpredictable on the thumbnail.、Uh, it might cause the feed inconsistent. I can see a little bit of the lines uh, uh, behind the head right here, even though it cannot see on the、um, on the square format. But it still, when you look at the full picture, it still have a little bit. And the other thing is,、uh, this one also crop、uh, too tight when it's、uh, on the square format. And I like the tone in this one. I like the brown tone. It has a nice vintage feel. The only thing is, I will crop this white. Area out,、uh, so it's cleaner. This white and then like crop it closer like this. So I am very aware of the side of the picture. Even a little bit of from the side, it can、uh, cause some a little bit of distraction from my eyes. So the next one, Ooh, this one overall I like the tone. There's a tone consistency in here.、Um, the only thing is this second one and the third one kind of similar <clears throat> with the white hoodie, and this one is also white、uh, outfit. I will、uh, separate them to create an、uh, interesting pattern because、uh, I really like this one. It's nicely、uh, composed and cropped. And this one can put in the second slot. It might create a better、um, overall feel from the feed、uh, standpoint. So、um, you can just、uh, based on the outfit color, and then just、uh, alternately、uh, change the feed、uh, overall feeling. So you can have a dark dark color outfit, and then a bright color outfit, and then another dark color outfit.、Um, so. This is just my suggestion on how to keep the fee more interesting instead of、um, all the、uh, white outfit together in the same row. So it、uh, it depends. It, sometimes it, it's、uh, your intention to move、uh, three white outfit in the same row, but、uh, if in that case, that means the next three one you have to be consistent also. So three dark outfit, the next. The next uh, three uh, three slots, so that is consistent. Instead of、um, so right now, I can see this one is、uh, bright outfit, and then these two is、uh, dark outfit. So it has to be consistent if if you stay with certain pattern also. So that's my take on that. And next one. Overall, I like the contrast in the first two picture. The only thing is, uh, when I uh, when you trying to blur out the foreground, um, I don't want to cover the mouth. So you can blur out, uh, down to the neck area, so that leave the、uh, mouth part. Cause um, a little bit of distraction to me. If if uh, especially this blur is kind of uh bright and uh bright yellowish uh color, like bright. Uh, color that distracted the eyes. So when I first look at the picture, I'm my eyes either is not looking at the at the at the portrait's eyes, is looking at this portion that is very bright in the foreground. So this is、uh, very important to be note、uh, notice. And this one can be cropped.、Uh, you don't need the top part. You can crop closer、uh, like this also. So that's uh, just. Uh, On the cropping and the framing side of a suggestion, and other things.、Uh, so I I noticed that this couple one is in one series. So if if you trying to keep consistent these three, 
is black and white and then this one is um, that means this one this middle one the second slot it uh, kind of breaks the pattern so if I'm posting right now I will post a dark one in this second slot and then because this one is kind of dark and then this one is bright but because you have a uh, three series uh, like three three in a row pattern going on so this uh, wow, bright one kind of break the pattern of the first row so in order to stay consistent also the eyes are uh, position this one is vertical and then this one is horizontal this two is horizontal kind of break the pattern so if I'm posing this eyes uh, the notes pointing to the um, I mean the notes toward the right side and then I might have another one uh, horizontal one the notes pointing to the left side instead so it create a balance if uh, you create that um, trying to create certain uh, pattern in the feed so the next one let me see I really like the overall consistency when I lend it to the feed it's nicely cropped uh, when you're looking at the square format it has room in the top area and it has a nice lines leading lines toward the portrait so overall feeling I feel uh, comfortable when I land it into this feed right here um, this one is cropping a little bit too close in the in the square format but that's fine uh, overall from the overall standpoint I feel like this one has done pretty good job and I don't have too much uh, to pick on this one it's uh, overall it's very nice I like the hair flip style and yeah this one overall I feel uh, comfortable so uh, because I, I was always talking about when it's in the square format leave a little bit of the headroom so good job next one so I can see that these three have the same outfit as I was talking about um, as you might have seen this uh, the second slot it cropped too close on the top and then this one has a lot of room on top and the room on top doesn't have uh, it sometimes cre uh, this uh, create a distraction like this yellow dot on the corner because if if it doesn't create it doesn't if it doesn't serve a purpose you should just crop it so crop closer so leave it a little bit like this because if as long as if it's serve purpose maybe some kind of pattern on top then you can leave it if it doesn't then less is more so less creates more focus on the body itself so and from the fee consistency standpoint and I if I'm posting this fee I won't post three outfit the same in a row unless you are planning ahead that um, other three outfit is gonna be in a row so I will post a blue one the blue is the cold uh, tone I will post another warm one to complement this one and then I can post another blue or kind of medium color uh, range so um, that's my take on this fee uh, overall I I think uh, I like the um, try I, I know you like uh, landscape probably you're trying to mix the portrait like this this row right here the landscape portrait and then landscape and then portrait and I think you were trying to stick with the alternative uh, yeah it's um it needs some uh, consistent to stick with certain pattern also so I know it's hard uh, it sometimes uh, I want to post two um, like portrait uh, straight but uh, when I notice it's the same color of outfit I will uh, stop stop posting the second one unless uh, I have another one in between uh, and then post it so next one let me see where I'm at okay the first uh, row I can see that this one is uh, bright color and then this one is dark this one is kind of uh, dark tone also so these three came together 
nicely. These three can do together like nicely. This one kind of breaks the pattern of the tone right here. So I would I will post uh, not this bright tone. I will post kind of like in between between this dark and this white uh, like kind of like in in the medium instead of this is a huge jump uh, when you look at the gap on the first slot and the second slot it kind of breaks the pattern of the uh, consistency in terms of the tone right here so these three come in together nicely with the tone in in terms of the tones so and then this one cropping too close in the square also i will crop i will crop uh, leaving more room to the head part because when you look at the square format it just it just um, in that the head was uh, cropped half in the head part so next one let me see uh, I like the sunset vibes uh, I really like the sunset vibes Maybe this one has a little bit of flare in front that cause some distraction. If I am cropping and I am seeing this uh, red the, the dot right here, I will crop it like this, like um, crop out the dot because it acts like a distraction in the center. So I will crop it like this, uh, like this, so closer. And then you still uh, retain the sunset uh, feel in the overall picture. And without the dot, you can more focus on the train. Because with the dot, my first uh, is uh, look at this bright dot in front. So, um, so be aware of some uh, light bright dot, uh, like bright dots or some foreground uh, color in front. So let me see next one. Okay. So I like the use of prism in this one. I probably leave more uh, headroom in this one because um, there's a lot of uh, this is overwhelming, uh, overpower the portrait right now. Um, the reason to use free, uh, to to use prism is to complement the power to complement the portrait instead of overpowering the portrait so the the prism reflection uh, it it overpower the portrait itself my eyes are looking at this spot instead of looking at the main portrait itself uh, main portrait uh, and you can crop to make it uh, subtle in the so what I mean is make the ratio of the prism uh, less than the ratio of the person. So the person should uh, occupy two third area of the... So right now it's like half and half already. So the the goal is to... The main person should occupy two third of the area and then the prism as a complementary effect should have one third of uh, occupation of the area. So uh, that's the tip of using the prism because it's uh, kind of tricky. Sometimes it reflects too much on the, um, on the frame. Like this one, it reflects a lot. So I will lower my prism down to the one third area. So it leaves more of the main portrait uh, on the head part. So it has more focus on the head overall. And next one. So let me see. I like the overall tone consistency in this V right here. It has a consistent tone. And I the only thing I was I have been talking about in my critique video is that um, I don't want the branch behind the background crossing the head. Even though sometimes even though it's uh, blur out, it still acts like a distraction. So if you when you're looking at the viewfinder and then you, if you see anything that the branch that cross out the head, there are two things you can do. You can ask the uh, ask ask the uh, model to come toward you three more steps because the more to toward the photographer, the lower the branch uh, down to the body. Uh, this is the angle uh, from the angle standpoint. 
the other thing you can do is uh, just turn around or, or just uh, pass the branch and then use use this white area instead of the branch on top right there so next one let me see I like the use of the flower framing I probably crop this one closer because I see a lines uh, right here even this is subtle lines it causes a uh, di uh, division of the image right here either I have to crop it closer to the right side of the lines so that it creates more focus on the portrait because these lines acts like a divider right now in the image so you can do that uh, you can crop closer or when you're taking the picture just uh, just turn to the right so step toward your right so that the flower uh, from certain angle will cover behind the lines so it just totally completely cover the lines so make make this one as a background instead so that's the technique to when, when you're seeing distraction uh, you as the photographer you can just move around and then look at the viewfinder scene oh is there another branch coming out of the head part or uh, if not um, then take the picture if uh, you can see it consciously see it be aware of the environment then um, you will see sometimes a lot of different distraction of the lines in behind the camera so but uh, overall I think you're trying to maintain a street style feed as uh, I was saying uh, kind of very tricky when you are framing with a lot of lines and this uh, like crossing the head I, I won't do um, the position in here because it's also crossing the head the other thing you can do is to um, using the gap instead of uh, from the branch itself you can use the gap maybe ask her to sit on one of the thing and then from this gap it has a complete headshot uh, instead of right now it's like crossing the head also so that's my take on that next uh, next one I like the uh, framing in this one this one is so nice I really like this one so nice uh, frame it and then there's some uh, people in the center so this is so good I really like this one um, the from the fee standpoint maybe so you have uh, taken six portrait and then six kind of landscape style and this one kind of detail shots also maybe this one this at this lot uh, maybe post a landscape if you are intended to be six and six uh, if if you are in if your intention is like that because this this post uh, this detail shot kind of breaks a very nice landscape pattern right here um, and I really like this picture it's so nicely um, frame frame in the center and if if there's a person I like if there's a red dress portrait in here it causes a nice uh, nicely stand out portrait in here also so if you can ask the model to stand in the center with the kind of like red color dress or kind of like bright bright color it uh, it's create a contrast with the dark uh, environment and then it create it can create a nice environmental portrait in here so but overall it's nice I really like this landscape right here so next one I think this is the last one uh, it's also from Sacramento so let me see these three pictures are kind of like the same to me the second row uh, unless you are planning to do that um, I'm not sure if I'm the fan of these three in a row uh, because they kind of look the same uh, to me I um, may maybe maybe if you have other version you can have a color version and then like uh, a light tone and then uh, 
medium tone and then dark tone in here so it creates some variations here and let me see I like the hair flip in here and then I like the sunlight in the back also and it creates a nice uh, bokeh and also uh, as I have been talking about um, the be, be aware of the lights like the lines against the head part so these white lines uh, you can adjust the camera angle so that the head part will cover the white lines and I really like the overall bokeh in this one it has a nice bokeh I'm not sure let me see if I like if I'm cropping closer it has even stronger effect because this this uh, this triangle right here it causes a little bit of distraction to me you can ask uh, the model to sit closer toward you and then so that her body blocks blocks this uh, little bit of uh, shape uh, the triangle right here or when you're doing post you can you can crop it closer because I really like the bokeh in the background right here it has a nice bokeh and then I really like how you do the sunlight against the sunlight as you might have seen that in most of my some of my sunset portrait I really like the, the angle light against the sunlight so that's it uh, for my sec uh, the third the third uh, review the critique uh, review and thank you so much for joining and participating if you uh, want to still join since uh, since right now is at the almost 20th video you can just comment on my latest uh, post saying that hey I want to join and then I can add you to the 20th video also I know the uh, 20th video probably a month later um, in the waiting list so thank you so much for joining and all the support bye